So a lot of people are surprised to hear that I used to be a police officer before I became a photographer. So I just want to explain how that came about and how and why I got to where I am now. So throughout high school, I was a pretty small fella. I was well under five feet, well under 100 pounds. Uh, so you can imagine there wasn't a lot of respect as, as a man for me. And I figured the best way to get respect would become a police officer. So I kind of devoted my life to becoming a police officer. Uh, the next few years, uh, I studied a lot. Uh, I, I got into college in New York City um, and into the one of the best criminal justice programs in the country and uh, I went off to college. Uh, the first two weeks I was in New York City, 9-11 uh, happened. Um, I, I witnessed the whole thing from about 15 blocks away um, and as you can imagine that had a huge impact on me and I felt even more strongly that this was the right path for me that I wanted to uh, protect and serve. And uh, so I finished college. I took probably a dozen tests um, in, in, a, in the span of a year and a half. Um, nothing was panning out. I was getting depressed. It, it just wasn't working. Um, and then I moved to back, back to the Syracuse area and the uh, Onondaga County Sheriff's Office picked me up there. So uh, I got into the system there um, went through the academy and became a deputy. Um, I, I love the academy. It was great. Um, I finished second in my class. I love learning about everything cop. It was, it was amazing. Um, and then I got on the road and I just never felt comfortable. I just, I just wasn't into it as much as I thought I would be. And what I found out over the next five years was that, you know, respect doesn't come with a badge and a gun for me. It just it just wasn't there like I wanted it to be. As I was you know trying to figure out who I was basically and, and what I wanted in life, ph photography kind of just fell into my lap, and uh, it just clicked right away. Uh, pardon the pun, but I loved it. I loved the technical aspect of it. I loved fooling around with lighting and 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 taking cool shots. And I didn't even know where I was going with it, but I just loved playing around and uh, so I eventually booked my first wedding um, very small intimate wedding I had to even rent a lens and an extra camera just so I made sure I had everything ready to go and and it came out great and I loved it and uh, it, it, it just kind of took off from there I posted it online other people contacted me about their wedding and it just started snowballing um, never in a million years did I thought I was going to be you know, a business owner and, and a photographer, that, that's not, you know, that wasn't the plan I had for my life. So during my time as a police officer, I, I started realizing this is not for me. This is not what I want to do. I started, you know, having disdain for people. You know, people lie to your face all day. The people that, that called you there didn't even want you there. Um, it's a tough job. And, and I worked with some amazing people. I'm not discounting that at all. Um, the, it was one of the toughest jobs I've ever done. It just wasn't for me. And uh, I, I couldn't articulate it at the time, but what I found out later on is that I, I needed to create. I needed to create something, whether it was photos or video or, or woodworking or building drones or 3D printing, whatever. I love creating. What I started realizing is that you know, doing the photos, doing the weddings is, is where I want to be. So I started ramping up the business in, in that aspect. And uh, when I moved back down to New Jersey, I, I decided to go full time. I decided to leave the police force, um, leave my friends behind and, and, and pursue my passion. And I, I gotta tell you, it was one of the best decisions I've ever made. Um, I still love creating, I've been doing it for 10 years now. And I love making cool photos. I love pushing myself. Uh, I, I love being at weddings, the emotion, the, the, the party, just everything that's going on. Um, I'm a sensitive guy anyways, but so I love the emotion, the, the, the candid type moments that happen during a wedding. I look for those, I thrive on those, um, and I, I just love creating. Um, and that's pretty much how I got, got to where I am now. It, it was it's a hell of a journey. Um, and I couldn't be happier.
Not that I think you want my advice, but if you do, I say find your passion. Find something you're passionate about, find something you love, be bold, try something new. If you don't like what you're doing now, you know, find something that you can you know, feel good about. That's what I did, and I, I know it's strange to hear that a police officer became a photographer, uh, but I don't regret it. I'm not looking back, and I love every second of it.